in 2015, Lyft almost ran out of money and considered shutting down. Now, just five years later, they're about to surpass Uber in the United States. So how? Uber and Lyft have been slugging it out in the US rideshare market for years. And for all of those years, Uber has been the top dog. But why has that been? The major reason is capital. Um, Uber has always had more investors and more money to work with, and that has allowed them to dictate pricing in the US rideshare market. So Uber has been always pretty dominant. But in 2017, Uber had an awful year. Um, from stories about the misogynistic culture, corporate culture at Uber, to the former CEO being caught on camera arguing with the driver, Uber lost a good amount of ridership in 2017, and Lyft was right there to pick up the pieces. Now, just five years after they almost ran out of money, Lyft is on pace to surpass Uber in the US. Pretty incredible. In a recent article published on the blog Aptopia, they predict that Lyft will pass Uber in daily active users in the US in the fourth quarter of 2020. And the article begins by discussing how Uber still averages about 25% more monthly downloads than Lyft. So if Lyft is still lagging in downloads, how are they on pace to pass Uber in daily active users in the US? The article goes on to discuss the sales and marketing spending. In the US, they estimate that Uber spends over 200 million more per year on sales and marketing. They state that organic user retention is over 4% higher than paid acquisition. And organic users create over 12% more sessions versus users acquired via paid sources. They believe that is the one key factor impacting Uber's growth rates relative to their download rate. The article then talks about a major fact, retention. Lyft is beating Uber at retention. After day 30, Lyft is retaining 18.1% of its users, while Uber is retaining 10.4%. Lyft's retention is almost double that of Uber. And at the end of the article, they give opinions on some key factors as to why this is occurring. Uber is using advertising and paid sources to acquire a meaningful percentage of their new users. And these users are lower quality than Lyft's organic user growth. Uber's focus on international growth has caused them to slightly take their eye off the US, where Lyft has continued to focus 100% of their effort and attention. And Lyft's IPO, which was ahead of Uber's, raised their brand and consumer awareness a meaningful amount in the US. And Lyft's investment into business development and key partnerships with companies like Delta, Chase, DoorDash, Hilton, etc. have been yielding strong loyal users. Now let's remember, they're projecting Lyft to pass Uber in daily active users in just the US. Um, Uber is still the worldwide leader. Lyft only operates in two countries, the United States and Canada. But this is pretty big for Lyft. Uh, the US is Uber's largest market and surpassing them here is a major development. Um, but what does this mean for drivers? Not a whole lot yet. Uh, the business is still there for both companies. There's still a lot of business for Uber, a lot of business for Lyft. Um, for drivers that aren't signed up for both platforms, you wanna make sure that you're signed up for both platforms. And we'll have links in the description to sign up for either or. But what do you all think? Did you have any idea that Lyft was going to pass Uber in the United States in daily active users? I personally thought that for the foreseeable future, Uber would lead and Lyft would follow. But I also thought that Lyft has done a better job of creating brand loyalty and I'm not surprised that their retention is higher. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment below and let us know. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.